Hey guys, it's Booga here. This video, we're gonna show you a variation of the Valor Heaven's Fury build, uh, which out without any augmentation, in which we were able to do a grade riff of 110. And so this build is a lot of fun, and Crusader is very popular and strong uh, for season 19. So let's go ahead and get started here. So when using this build, the focus is on mobbing large mobs and really hunting down elites. So here I see the first elite, so I throw some of the Fists of Heaven to generate Wrath and get some of my stacks going. And then I can start spamming, as I do here, the Heaven's Fury for that damage. You do want to time, if you can, your debilitate on the same cycle as your Holy. If you don't need the damage mitigation. And really just spam the Iron Shield and your Awkward Champion. You want to keep that with 100% uptime whenever possible. Same with your, your Law. So that lead melted pretty quickly. And we're just moving along to search for our next large mob or lead. And we see some little mob here, so we just kill those there. Now we're just moving on. We see our next elite. Try to gather up as much mobs as possible. Finding a good spot and just spamming away. Oh, arcane's a little dangerous there. So kiting a little bit. And that pop Akarat's champion. Uh, with the build I'm currently using, I actually use Indestructible as well. So that gives you an additional safety. Essentially allowing you to die twice without actually dying, which is fantastic. I'm just spamming at it. And it should be going down. Yeah, here we go. We just move on to the next mob. So, pretty quick. And easy to dispatch with those two first two elites in the Great Rift 110. We see how much damage they do to you, which is significant. And we get a sh shield pylon, which is not too bad. When you're running through some of these rifts, if you do happen to get a little bit low, you could just pop your potion. Uh, the potion I'm using, I believe, is an all resistance potion, additional survivability. So we're just moving along hunting for our next elite pack. And the elite pack actually both seems like actually drop out almost nowhere. So we run the two elites. We're a little stuck in this corner here. With a lot of arcane, so it's looking a little dangerous, but we're on the holy rotation. So I want to spam as much damage as possible. And I almost and that's how quickly I killed him. I almost like essentially one shot at him felt like there. But with the shield pylon, of course, you can just stand in anything you want. If you didn't have a shield pylon there, you could kite it. And bats are just a little annoying because they fly around, but there's two, two more elites down there. Making really good time on this rift. And while you're moving about, I do throw down the Fist of Heavens to try to keep up my stacks as much as possible and my cooldown reduction. Another elite. Not as many mobs that I as I ideally wanted. But not too bad. And he melted very quickly. If you can get into the Oculus ring that your follower generates, that is ideal. Sometimes your positioning just does not work out that way. I am just melting this elite. Somehow, <laughs> somehow there he, he didn't die. This, the last few shots looked like they didn't even do any damage. I expected them to die so I didn't throw down many fists of heavens which I still should have anyways. 
So now here I use the Oculus Ring. It's a little iffy here. A lot of arcane damage here. Pops my Akarats. I side the back out a little bit. And just spam it for a little bit from a little far. Those arcane beams are just dangerous. And this is a juggernaut, so it's taking a little longer to kill. You could decide to skip juggernauts if you wanted to, but with how much damage this build does, don't really see the point in Greater Rift 110. So power pile, I see I see that, so I want to draw as many mobs as possible and hopefully find another elite so I can really take advantage of that pylon, but I only see this one elite, so I decided to pop it and just spam away at this thing. And we just easily melt it. We're just moving along. Again, great time so far. Oh, those those are a little bit annoying. Those little leapers, the tongue lasher things, they hurt. Find a good spot and just spam. I could go into the Oculus Ring, but I had such a good spot there. I was hitting all four of them. I didn't want to move there. So I saw I do need to be a little more careful. You want to clear out a little bit some of these tongue lashers they do so much damage another elite pack oh this is actually a tough spot to be in not much space to kite around so we got to play a little bit smart here my wrath generation was, was pretty poor, but it, this is a bad spot as well. I could have been spamming my fist a little bit more. And we take him down. So in this build, if you do find that you don't need the extra survivability of the indestructible, you could change that out for finery as the passive. That will give you additional damage. Let's see what pylon this is. Alright. This is another tough spot to kite in. There's just no real space for you to move around. I do happen to proc the tornadoes from the kill streak, which helped a lot in that situation. There's a lot of mobs here. And we summon the Rift Guardian. So here on the holy rotations when you really want to spam. We have to chunk them down to half. In the holy rotation. And that's it. So that's a pretty smooth run. Hope you guys enjoyed some of that gameplay. I do have a video of a guide about this build for it where you don't have to be a high paragon level and no augmentations and you're able to accomplish a greater rift for 110. So hope you guys enjoyed some of this content. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave any comments you have below and I'll get back to any questions and comments you guys have. So you guys have a good one. Have fun out there.